and chances are even if you're working hard, you're not working in the most efficient way possible. And that's exactly what our Attention to Detail Virtual Academy is here for. To assist hoopers all around the world with practicing the right way. Probably since the beginning of basketball history, players have been taught to simplify their finishing, to limit movement with the ball, to go straight up. But if you watch any high level finisher, they go against that. On most of their finishes, the ball is in motion for a number of reasons. And if you learn how to do that effectively, it'll add a whole nother dimension to that finishing ability. So first of all, finishing with contact becomes much easier when you work on being able to move that ball into the optimal positions during the finish. So if you watch a lot of these finishes, they move the ball close to their body when that contact is initiated. And then once they bounce off their defender, they'll extend the ball towards the basket for an easier finish. Because the closer to the rim that the ball and your hand are, the easier to finish. And this specifically takes a ton of ball control. Naturally, if you're receiving contact like Isaiah is here, your body's going to be knocked out of its optimal position for stability. As a result, you have to be able to resist that force in mid-air while focusing on the ball for that finish. And that's tough. Being able to cradle the ball also helps you get momentum into your finish. If your arm is extended, really all that's available to use on that finish is your wrist. And that's really limited. They're retreating. So if you go directly into a straight arm finish at the bucket, it's much harder to control that ball and give it spin onto the backboard. Watch Kyrie here, how he brings the ball down and then back up and spins it off the glass. So even though a ton of coaches are against it, I like to teach that cradle to players. There's so much more control here, there's so much more you can do with it. And having that ability to spin that ball off the glass is really one of the most important skills to have as a smaller guard who can't get right to the rim to finish. Plus, if you bring that ball down and center it on your finish, it gives you that option to read where the defender is at and then finish away from them. And if you can learn how to manipulate the ball to fake defenders in and around the paint, it adds yet another level to this ability. Watch how Kyrie sees the shot blocker sliding over to his side of the basket. So he shows the ball in midair, the defender jumps, and then he brings the ball away from the defender on the other side of the bucket and finishes with that spin. That's next level. And Kyrie is probably the best at this that we've seen in recent memory. But what he does isn't impossible or even out of reach for the general hooping population. It just takes control with the ball and the confidence to do it. But like with everything in basketball, it also requires a balance. If you have a simple finish, don't overcomplicate it. Go straight into that finish and call it a day. There's really no point in manipulating that ball if you don't need to. But with contested finishes, there's definitely a ton of times when it's appropriate. More often than not, to be honest. And if you can really nail down that skill, I guarantee you it'll level up your game. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned every Wednesday and Sunday for new videos. And make sure to follow us on Instagram.